John Torchio, Camp Lindo High School. Our NCS Player of the Year is Camp Lindo quarterback and defensive back John Torchio. John led the Cougars to the NCS Division II title this season and into NorCal's. On offense, Torchio has incredible numbers, throwing for better than 3,000 yards this season with 33 touchdowns completing 65% of his passes. On defense, John had 71 total tackles and 7 interceptions. The senior is now deciding where he will play next year. Uh, it's all about brotherhood and the culture. It's it's awesome. If you haven't experienced a practice, you should come check it out because it's high energy, guys are flying around, having a good time, and everyone loves practice, so just that culture, it's awesome. Once again, the close-knit brotherhood, those guys, I can text them on a Friday night, Tuesday night, and everyone, someone down to get food or hang out, and they're always say yes, so just uh, the brothers and uh, that culture, I'm definitely going to miss that. Robbie Rao, Akalani's High School. Our NCS Offensive Player of the Year is Akalana's senior quarterback, Robbie Rowell. Robbie led his team to a 9-2 record and to the second round of the NCS playoffs. Robbie was awesome at the helm for the Dons with 2,700 yards passing with 41 touchdowns, completing 63% of his passes with just four interceptions. With great accuracy and strength, Rowell was a true team leader for the Dons. Robbie is deciding where he will play next season. First year was last season, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't have a great season. We we're kind of mediocre. Uh, this year, I think we, like, we had a really good senior class. Uh, we had a great summer practice, great spring practice, and we started the year. I, I don't know how many people thought uh, that we were going to be that good, but I think we really believed in ourselves. So as the season kind of went on and we kept winning games, uh, like a lot of people were surprised, but I think we just felt, uh, felt like we were doing what we should be doing all along. Game against Camp Lindo, uh, beating our rivals who hadn't beaten in eight years, I think. Uh, I'm gonna remember that forever. That's probably one of the best moments of my life, to be completely honest. Henry Toto, that was a high school. We have co-NCS Defensive Players of the Year. First off, it's Henry To'o To'o from De La Salle. The junior linebacker had 82 tackles and six sacks for the Spartans. With terrific speed and a nose for the ball, Henry was a leader on a De La Salle team that gave up seven or fewer points in eight games this season, making it to the state title game. If there was a play to be made, Henry always seemed to be around. Just a junior, Henry will be back at De La Salle next season. I mean, it means a lot. Uh... So it was all the hard work that I put in, but not also me, but the coaches who, who took their time to actually uh, work me out and the dedication they had in me. It's phenomenal. Uh, the experience we have, uh, the workouts that they put us through, uh, it's something that you'll never get at some other high school. Uh, we go through hard stuff together as a team, so that's what I really enjoy about coming here. Javon Holland, Bishop Dad High School. Our second Defensive Player of the Year is Bishop O'Dowd defensive back Javon Holland. Javon was the leader of a Dragon defense with 34 tackles and six interceptions. With great speed and agility, Javon helped lead the Dragons to a league title and to the section semifinal game. One of the nation's top recruits, Javon will play at the University of Oregon next season. Uh, University of Oregon is a great school and I really like the environment. Uh, the, head coach, the head coach and the assistant coach um, Keith Hayward and Willie Taggart, they you know, kind of a big influence on me. Um, they're great coaches and I, I really like their, their scheme that they had. Definitely the connection with my brothers, you know, they'll forever be my friends. Um, that last game was tough, you know, because you know, that was the last time I ever suit up with them. And seeing pictures is kind of tough looking at, you know. But definitely the laughs and the, the adversity we went through together, I definitely you know, will miss that with them. They're, those are my guys. Nicole Cavat. Monta Vista High School. The NCS Volleyball Player of the Year is Monta Vista outside hitter Nicole Cavat. Nikki was a force at the net for the Mustangs this season with 343 kills, 37 blocks, and 20 aces for the East Bay League champs. Nikki helped lead the Mustangs to a section title and into NorCal's this season. A side note, Nikki has a 4.05 GPA. Nikki will play next season at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. We really wanted to honor the past four years of NCS champions and this year was so crucial for us to just not only be successful on the court but off the court too, just be great teammates and leaders and it didn't matter what happened, um, the accolades, all of the press, none of it, it was all about getting each other better and improving ourselves and really being one tight-knit team. Tatiana Tolefor. 
James Logan High School. The NCS Scholar Athlete for the fall is James Logan outside hitter Tatiana Teliafoa. Tatiana was part of the best volleyball team in school history, leading the Colts to a league title and on to the section title game and all the way to the state final game. Tatiana had 609 kills and 26 blocks for the Colts. Tatiana was also a star in the classroom with a 3.89 grade point average. She will play on scholarship next season at Cal State Fullerton. Definitely blessed to be a part of the team, knowing that I participated in our success and knowing that I got to be a part of like this group of girls that we were with, it's honestly a blessing. First, it was definitely just uh, balancing things, like prioritizing, knowing that school definitely comes for volleyball. Um, another thing was my support group. I had a lot of people that helped me throughout the way.